those days. What's up, you two? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 17. Today, I'm going to show you how to create cool runs, cool rhythms, cool, unusual rhythms in Logic using software instrument tracks and your MIDI keyboard, making it sound realistic and not so robotic as uh, some people like to call it. You don't want to be locked to 16th notes every time you create a song. You sort of want to sound real, have some rhythm to it, have some flow to it. So I'm going to show you one way in which you can go about it. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this little... Um, loop region that I created right here and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's let it play. All right, so there's that little loop right there. Let's say at the beginning of that section, I want to have a little run on my cellos or my strings and I'll just go da 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 and have it run up, uh, have a little run up the scales. So I'm going to go ahead, hit record. I'm just going to hit the first note and I'm going to draw in the rest of the notes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record and I'm going to record C. All right, so there's C right there. I'm just gonna go up the scale a little bit. So I'm just gonna click here and draw them in. So bear with me one second. All right, so there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and you'll hear how that sounds going up the scale. It's going to sound a little robotic because it is on locked to 16th notes, and this is the reason why we're going to do this, to show you how it can sound more realistic as if someone really played it in real life and you recorded it. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. All right, so it sounds okay. If I had some delays on it, some echoes, some sort of uh, processing after it. It might sound okay just like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it sound faster and again, more realistic. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take off this window right here and I'm gonna zoom in on my region and I'm gonna cut the region just after the last note. So right there, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna delete this blank space over here, the blank part of the region. I'm gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner of that MIDI region, hold down option click and drag and you can drag it to whatever size you want but if you want to really keep it in time with the song drag it to the ones so I'm gonna click it to there and now you're going to drag it to there and now you're gonna see how it sounds more realistic and sort of a cool little flow up the scale so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play It sounds pretty cool, huh? Just like that, I created something that sounded more robotic, dragged it to a smaller uh, region. Everything is mathematically in time. So if I open up this region, it may look like it's off time, but it's not. It's mathematically in time because Logic did all the calculations and all that to make it sound like that. And now you have a more realistic playing um, cello going up the scale a little bit. So that's it right there. I'm going to go ahead and play again. You can take a listen to it again. So that was it now. This was it before. And now this was it after I applied all that cool stuff. All right, so there it is again. Very simple. You can you can apply it to any instrument. If you want to apply it to a kick, a, uh, some hi-hats. Hi-hats might be good. Just sort of draw out the, the notes that you want. End it on the last note of the re uh, end the region on the last note and kind of shrink the region by holding option, holding option on your keyboard and going down to the bottom right hand corner of the region, clicking and dragging it, dragging it out, and then you could uh, play around, see what you get, and you might get some really interesting uh, rhythms. So this is a really quick way to get that. So let's see how this sounds actually. Pretty cool, huh? We wouldn't be able to play that originally in real life because it's just sometimes it's just too fast and uh well logic is there for you to help you out on that so that's it for me i'm adam from my music mogul remember to subscribe rate comment more great stuff coming soon guys all right later